With the advent of industrialization, fossil fuel use has powered our societies, developed our infrastructure, and overall improved the quality of life for our entire planet. As a species, we are now at a crossroads. We've got to make a decision whether we want to continue using these cheap fossil fuels, which will help that hyper-capitalism and build up our society, but risk the chances of having a climate disaster. Or we've got to make the hard decision, the difficult decision of advancing other technologies to decouple ourselves and unhook ourselves from fossil fuel addiction. It's going to be a difficult choice and this choice is known as the Faustian bargain. The Faustian bargain is a decision that's made where you exchange something of higher value but higher value in the long run for something that looks appealing in the short run. Similar to how Faust gave up his soul to an evil spirit for unlimited knowledge and power. Our world is in a similar situation. With overuse of fossil fuels comes with the equivalent exchange of making large parts of the world less livable. And there's one word for this a climate disaster. If we don't act now, we're going to be in big trouble. So in this video, we're going to deep dive into the German mythical legend of Faust and see how it relates to the situation that a world is in with climate change. Hey friends, my name is Osama. I have a background in nuclear engineering and on this channel, I help demystify nuclear technologies by simplifying them. I also love to talk about everything to do with climate change as well. So let's dive into this video. Okay, so we're going to start off with the legend of Faust. I love this story and I just want to share it on a very high level. It all starts with Faust. Faust is a doctor who meets an evil spirit named Mephistopheles. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This evil spirit basically is a representation of Satan. And what Dr. Faust does is he makes a deal with this evil spirit. So the conditions of the deal are in exchange for his soul, he gets access to unlimited power and knowledge for 24 years. So ultimately getting access to unlimited knowledge and power, Faust believes that he can get access to the world's pleasures. That's his goal. At the end of these 24 years, Faust reapproaches the evil spirit and he tries to retract the deal because he realizes that what he exchanged, you know, his soul was ultimately of greater value than the knowledge and unlimited power that he attained for 24 years. But rather him retracting the deal, it fails and he's dragged down into the depths of hell. And that's the story behind Faust and the Faustian bargain. So what's important about this bargain is the fundamentals of the contract are developed with a full understanding that that the contract's nature is immoral. It's gonna have long-term repercussions. But at the moment, the sense or the feeling of you know that knowledge or unlimited power is great. It's huge. Okay, so it's it's very alluring in that sense. So I want to ask you, what are your thoughts on this? As humanity, are we too late? Have we already signed off on the contract for the Faustian bargain? Or do we still have time to change our decision before we're dragged into the depths of hell, aka climate change disaster? In our own unique situation, what's initially attractive is that lure of developing our societies on scale, our infrastructure, and overall improving the quality of life for a lot of people across the world. That is the temptation basically and doing it cheaply through fossil fuels. So low cost for civilizations at the moment, but in the future, the people that will come in the future will have to pay the cost of that. However, the equivalent exchange in this situation is also not only the future of future civilizations making their lives very difficult, but also that of our our planet, our natural systems across the world, animal life, our oceans, our forests, so many essential elements that make up our earth are going to come at a risk of being destroyed. All right, so if you're a regular person who's following the news in the modern day, you're seeing those increase in natural disasters taking place across the world. It seems like we're getting those early warning signs of a climate disaster, but really let's explore the history of how we got here. How do we get to the position of this Faustian bargain? Let's, let's deep dive into it a little bit. How did this climate change story start. And as you know, human activity on earth results in the production of greenhouse gas emissions, right? We burn down forests regularly to create farmland. We also use natural resources like wood and many other things on our day-to-day -day lives to cook our foods and provide us heating. But what was a game changer was the industrial revolution. And the industrial revolution was fueled on one fuel source, coal, dirty, dirty coal. It was the game changer that changed everything. All right, so why is coal dirty? Well, I can make a whole video on this topic, but the main reason why is because it produces a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. It produces not only greenhouse gas emissions when burned, but it also puts a lot of toxic substances into the atmosphere. And this is going directly into our atmosphere, the waste product. So for example, mercury, you have arsenic, a lot of toxic substances that go out into the world, like
like they affect our oceans, they affect the land on earth, they affect human health. And other than this, not only is it going out into the atmosphere and kind of contaminating our planet, it's also contaminating our water supply. So coal fired power plants produce something called coal ash. So when you're barbecuing at home, you notice that, okay, there's a little bit of ash that's left over after you're done with the coals. And that's exactly what happens in a coal fired power plant. Now, what takes place is that this waste product is then taken and it's dumped in landfills, it's dumped in ponds or streams. And there's a lot of this coal ash. There's around 100 million tons of coal ash that's produced every single year. The age of coal starts off with the good old British Empire. And England specifically was going through a wood famine. And the way this wood famine was caused was because of large scale deforestation of getting wood supplies to their various industries to, to use this wood to burn and ultimately run their industries off of this. This is where the switch from wood to coal came in. It was a great fuel source because it was cheap to mine. You can use it for cooking. You can use it for powering factories and creating steam. You can also use it for just about everything else. At the same time, all across Europe and the United States, which was a rising power at the time, the fuel of choice was coal. It's abundant, it's cheap, and it can be used to power factories. It can be used as a versatile fuel source. What happened next? Well, we got addicted to coal. So just sharing some numbers here, the US coal consumption in the 1850s was around 35 million tons of coal. Now fast forward 50 years to the year 1900, you'll see 285 million tons of coal consumed just that year alone. By the 1940s, a combination of vehicle exhaust fumes and also emissions from coal fired power plants would create killer smog effects in major cities across the world. For example, the great killer smog event in London, which covered the entire city of London for five days. This great killer smog brought the entire city to a standstill and also resulted in the deaths of 4,000 people in two weeks span. Looking back now, experts are revising these numbers from 4,000 to around 8,000 to 12,000 deaths that took place from this event alone. If you thought this was bad, worldwide every single day, 18,000 people die every single year due to health conditions caused by inhalation of toxic fumes that are coming from fossil fuel burning. The magnitude of this is incredible, which is every single year, 6.5 million people are dying. So if you wanna take this in number into consideration, that's around equivalent to more than HIV and AIDS, tuberculosis, traffic accidents combined. Fast forward to our modern day, our world is still addicted to fossil fuels. Around 80% of the world's energy comes from fossil fuels. So energy, remember not electricity, energy in a sense that which has electricity, it includes district heating, it includes processing, seat for many industries like concretes and steels, which produce a lot of the emissions in our total planet. By the year 2040, which isn't too far out into the future, our electricity consumption in, across the world is expected to increase by 52%. So 52% more electricity will be required by the entire planet. And a lot of this will be coming from developing nations. So developing nations and existing developed nations across the world really need to move our electricity consumption and also energy production to clean energy sources like nuclear power. That's something that I advocate on this channel. And this is the technology that I love to explore. And the reason why is because nuclear reactors can take resources like uranium and also produce large amounts of clean electricity with zero greenhouse gas emissions. I believe that it's an energy source which can help break the contract that we currently have have the Faustian bargain that's been in development for several decades to centuries. So we can really help utilize innovative technologies like nuclear power, but also other renewable sources to take our world on the correct path, really get unhooked from fossil fuel emissions. So overall, I really enjoyed talking about the story of Faust, this German mythical legend, and really reflecting on how our planet, our world is at that crossroads, how we've got to make that decision, whether we want to go through with the Faustian bargain or rather take the more more difficult approach of creating innovative technologies and also interconnecting our world global community toward a single cause like for example avoiding the climate disaster which is not only going to impact the developed nations but unfairly impact the developing nations which didn't really have the same opportunities to develop cheaply like the developed nations we have to be in this together so hope you enjoyed this video hope you got a chance to check out some of my other content take care bye